2018 Jaguar E-Pace, New Pictures of Baby Jaguar F-Pace SUV Baby F-Pace, possibly called the E-Pace, caught testing on camera wearing its production bodywork again ahead of 2018 release. Jaguar is plotting a second entrant into the ultra-competitive SUV market sector with a stable mate for the mid-sized F-Pace a smaller, baby F-Pace which could take on the E-Pace moniker when it arrives on sale next year. We published plenty of spy shots of the upcoming BMW X1 rival over the last few months, and our latest look comes courtesy of James Batchelor, our eagle-eyed editor-at-large, who spotted the car undergoing testing in the Italian Alps. Again, the pre-production car wears heavy masking to disguise its looks, but it's possible to make out the overall shape of the car and how it packs F-Pace design traits into a smaller, chunkier package with shorter overhangs. Compared with our previous spy shots, little, if anything about the upcoming Baby Jaguar SUV has changed. Towards the rear end of the car the shoulder line rises strongly, pinching the back to make it appear squat and purposeful. Underneath the disguise, it's possible to spy the steeply raked rear windscreen, copying the sporty rear end of its larger F-Pace brother. We're expecting a full reveal of the baby F-Pace to take place at some stage this year. We spied the car for the first time early last year, our photographers spotting a modified Range Rover Eva key testing on roads near JLR headquarters in Gaydon, Warks. Since then we've received sporadic sightings of the car wearing a far more appropriate F-Pace-inspired disguise. An earlier sighting and the license check revealed that one of the baby SUV mules has been registered as a 2.0-liter diesel-electric hybrid, hinting that JLR is working on alternative powertrains to help the LRMS chassis through the next decade. Petrol or diesel-based hybrid tech would see CO2 drop below 100 g/km and could allow fuel economy of more than 70 mpg. As with the Evaki, the Baby Jag is unlikely to benefit from more powerful six-cylinder engines, focusing on refined four-cylinder units. The E-Pace is expected to go on sale in 2018, priced from around £28,000. Due to design constraints, Jaguar is not able to use a shortened version of the F-Pace chassis for the smaller car. Instead, the new model is expected to be based on the smaller, and older, Evaki. This is the same LRMS chassis found on the Land Rover Discovery Sport, which isn't due for replacement until 2022 at the earliest proving there's plenty of life in the platform. Jaguar's chief designer Ian Callum suggested earlier this year that any smaller model would need to move to a transverse engine layout. We've done front-wheel drive studies, because everybody knows that if you go smaller than XE or F pace, you've no choice but to go that way, he said. The only way you're going to get the look on the car is to turn the engine sideways. It is challenging, and we've clearly looked at how we could do it. You get that long snout otherwise, which looks out of proportion. As such, Entry-level editions of the small car could be front-wheel drive the first Jag to use that layout since the X-Type, and the extremely short rear overhang suggests Jaguar is testing a platform with front-wheel drive in mind. Four-wheel drive will be offered on the bulk of the range, though, including the more powerful variants. As the XF followed in the footsteps of the XE, we anticipate Jag's smaller SUV to take design cues from the F-Pace. The flat nose also evident on the Evaki mule will remain, but with shorter overhangs, the alteration to the rear is particularly evident on this mule. This is likely to ensure a smaller cabin and reduced boot space, although the car should be more than a match for rivals like the BMW X1 and forthcoming Mercedes GLB. It will be more practical than an Evaki, too, as its wheelbase should be slightly longer. We'd expect official information to be revealed at some point this year, ahead of showroom-ready models arriving next year.